I'm going to right across the river deep and wide oh, 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 oh. right across the Mekong to the other side yeah and on the right side of the road no less hope I don't screw this up It's a lot of water. From the rain and from snow that fell onto glaciers, what, a million years ago or something? Slid down the mountains until it got warm. Down low, had to melt. Way up in India or China or someplace. All the way down to here, and all the way down to Vietnam. And just like that, my first Laotians. How y'all doing? Okay. And over there. China money in action, baby. Gonna do some gambling. Gonna do a lot of gambling. Relatively wealthy ties are gonna come all across. Drop the dizzo. Mm -hmm. Master plan. Get in on that. Okay. There we have it. So far, so good. Had a little bit of hairiness back there at the at the border. Low level, low level. Nothing that'll put me in jail over. I'll tell you all about it. It was cool. And yeah, I got time to pedal again. Okay, put this down. Bye bye. <clears throat> okay. Ding ding ding. Stay by the water. Here's where all the action is slow boat landing stage okay so that's where i want to be close to all right and that's it you're in laos easy easy i was almost the only guy here so different from that land crossing in the thailand shall we Okay, the Craig has landed. Yes, indeed. Uh, I've noticed that, at least in this town, this isn't exactly a metropolis, but you see that gate there? A lot of guest houses, that's, that's somebody's guest house. Is that coming through on the picture? Anyway, I think this is a little more Chinese-y. There's like a big room that can be closed. There's like a closable gate. So you go through there and then you get to the rooms inside. So now, this just makes things a little more complicated for me if this is going to be the sustained model because uh, you can't bring the bike into the room so now you're negotiating where you're going to put it. It's, 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 it's all right. It worked out the first place. It's going to be fine. Just more carrying stuff up and down the stairs. Meal one. Been through my beer a lot already. Curry soup, solid. Curry stuff, boiled, yes. Yellow noodles, fried. I didn't know what yellow noodles were. They're more like instant noodles with the, you know, they got the veggies and the, and the chicken hunks. All right, sure. Okay, yeah, this can work. And our, our gal over here is doing something with, uh, I think, ice cream, yeah. But people are nice. People are waving hello. 
kids yelling at me from the trucks and stuff and smiling and laughing. I'm happy. It's good. It's good. Okay. Till then. Remember that boat dock from a couple of days ago? Over in Chiang Kong? Over there? Yeah, well. Here's the other side. Here's those two boats that we saw. Doesn't look like they've been very far in a while. <clears throat> Some more boats over here. The boats I want are over there. That's where the dock is for the, the slow boats up into Long Perbong, etc. Right over there. Tomorrow i got to talk to some people so I can figure out which people to talk to. So I can figure out which people to talk to. To get a ticket and all of this. Okay. So, so close to get so far. See you later. Okay, and here's my first place in, apparently Laos isn't the right word, the word is La, the Lao PDR. Lao being just uh, the plural form of the word, uh, sorry, Laos being the plural for like Lao person, and it got worked into a country name kind of by mistake. I still can't get that thing to put out cold air. I don't know what's up. So anyway. And there's me. And there's a toilet, shower, laundry. Steeping away. Okay. Well. And here we are, folks. So far. The, uh, the country seems to have kind of that... Uh, I don't know, that kind of country, amateurish, confusing kind of vibe to it that reminds me of Cambodia. Uh, like, uh, oh, wait a minute, is this a beauty shop? Is this an ice cream parlor? Does, do any of you people work here? Like, do, what's going on? You know, yeah, it's just, just, just confusing to me anyway. Anyway, but uh, it's worked out so far anyway. Just like how Cambodia did work out most of the time. Just got to get used to it. Uh, let's see here. T -t Tomorrow is what? Change the money, get the SIM card, go to the boat docks, figure out which of the boat companies say can take my bicycle, which of them actually can get take my bicycle, and then when can I go and all that. 30-day... Uh, Visa at the border went fine, pretty much fine. There was this one step of the process where you're supposed to, uh, after you cross out of Thailand, there's this bus that runs back and forth uh, to, uh, that runs back and forth between um, the, uh, either side of the bridge there. You know? All right, all right, hold on, hold on. I think I figured something out. Remember... Remember how when we crossed into Thailand, on our way into Thailand, back in Cambodia, back in forever ago, we stamped ourselves out of Cambodia, but there was still this Cambodian land that I had to traverse some blocks of it before I got to the border, 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 border. So there was this in-between zone that was on Cambodia but the people didn't have to legally get into Cambodia yet. And that's where they put all of the casinos, baby. That's where they put all the casinos. So the Thais could like leave Thailand, which they're allowed to do, but they would never even need to legally enter Cambodia in order to gamble the night away. And then there are, every Thai person is allowed back into Thailand whenever they want, right? No matter who they are. So. That's the deal with that. So it's a way of uh, doing, doing gambling without having to like them having to get visas and all this kind of stuff to get into Cambodia. 
okay, it's surely going to be the same thing here, right? I'm making this up, but I'm probably right. So that's the purpose of that bus. The purpose of that bus is that that's to get people all the way to the Lao Visa facility, whereas when those casinos are done, there's going to be another bus. Uh, there's going to be another bus, or maybe just taxis, that will take people to the casino joint without ever having to go to or reach or go through the border checkpoint over on the Lao side. That must be why they don't like unsupervised, loose people just uh, riding their bikes or walking out across that bridge because uh, eventually they're going to need to uh, commit you and know that you're committed to going all the way to Laos through the border or just going to the casino. It's probably something like that. Let's come back here in a couple of years and see if I was right. You're not supposed to ride a bicycle there. And I'm like, damn it. I'm not taking my bike apart to fit it into your damn bus and you're just going to pick it up anyway. So I was kind of miffed about that, but I just walked the bike, you know, out in the open, you know. I just walked my bike from the bus station on the little road about, I don't know, just two or three hundred, 100, 200 meters over to where the the actual guard guys were that regulate uh, vehicles leaving. And I just pointed and give them the look, the face, you know, okay. And they let me go. And so I just went. And I even stopped. I came back. I said, bicycle okay? And they're like, yeah, man, get out of here. So that was it. Fine. So I went. And then that was fine. And then I figured out how to, where to go on the other side and where to get the visa on arrival and who to pay. And blah, 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 blah. It was only like a $40, well, $45 all told procedure. And there was almost no one there. This is the low season. There was almost nobody doing any crossing today. And then after that, it was just a little bike noodle. Uh, a lot more dirt road, a lot more, a lot more chickens, a lot more dogs, that kind of thing. And a lot more people smiley and wavy and saying hello, which also reminds me of Cambodia. Signs are, a lot of signs in Chinese out here. There's definitely a lot of China going on. A lot of Chinese, a lot of that gold, uh, gold letter on red background that says Chinese um, and stuff. Uh, lodging is uh, kind of like you see but also super duper 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 cheap. And I can swear that food and ice cream bars are a, little, are a little bit more than they were in Thailand. Whatever. Okay, fine. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much does it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna edit some videos, I'm gonna rinse my laundry, and go Kurzonker. All right, bye for now.